Okay, well, we are here today at the most magical Goodwill in all the land. And we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So, here we go. Are you ready? Ready. 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 <laughs> Well, the Goodwill was very crowded today, but you can see I went straight for the orange aisle and I found this pink depression glass caddy. Unfortunately, it was missing the little cups that would have gone with it. I'm assuming they would have been cups. And so I did leave that behind on the shelf. I also found this carnival glass bowl here on the bottom. It was a little plain looking. Um, there wasn't any special pattern to it that really caught my eye. So for $4.99, I left that behind. Then I found this, this milk glass hen on a nest. Unfortunately, these only sell for about $7 to $12. So I could not buy that and sell it to make a profit. I did leave it behind. I always check the figurines here on the end cap because I did find some really amazing bird figurines at one point. And then I found the puppies. <laughs> this was a souvenir piece. There were some dolls here and I looked over the dolls just to see if they were American Girl dolls. They were the Our Generation dolls that they sell at Target. They were not American Girl dolls, but I did take a look at those. Juliet has been really into American Girl dolls recently, and I was able to buy four of them for her at auction for a really, really good price. So um, if I could find another one at Goodwill, that would just be awesome. But I didn't see any there. This bowl had a bird on it, so of course it caught my eye. It was $1.99, and there was a mark there on the back, but it was kind of hard to read, and there was a giant crack on the edge of it, so it stayed behind. There were some more hens on the shelf, and I did pick one up to see if it was priced the same as the other, and it was $9.99. You know I've spotted something because I started backing up and it was this cheese saver right here with the florals on it. It was $2.99. I was really bummed out that it didn't have an under plate, um, but Dagny did end up coming along and picking this up after I set it back down under the assumption that it could just be placed on a regular plate. It doesn't need a special plate to save cheese. Here in the wood section I found this. And it was a souvenir for Jamaica, but it was just a cool cane there. $2.99 for the wooden shoe. This mask was interesting, and I liked the colors of it. I turned it over to see if it was hand-carved, and you can see some of the carv carving there uh, that was tooled. It was interesting. I felt like it was simply decorative. There was a trinket box, and I pulled it out to see if there was a trinket inside, and it just fell apart. Not because I shook it, but just because it was, it was meant to fall apart. Up here was this beautiful beaded basket for $4.99. It was a coiled basket. I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a lid or not, but in any case, I loved the colors of it. And so I did end up sticking this in my cart for $4.99. Now this was another music box and some of my viewers actually collect these and so I, after having read the comments, I do sometimes pick them up, but I did pass on that one. Now that I've met back up with Dagny, she is showing me a vase that she found on the other side of the store and it does have a quality about it. The name on the bottom we did not recognize and she was trying to show me to see if I recognized it and I did not. But it was very interesting and I, I did like it. I've spotted the canisters. She also found this Pomeranian dog mug here and she does have a Pomeranian and this little teapot. 
we finally made our way over to the canisters and I do recognize these canisters. I have seen them before. I'm not sure who makes them. I want to say McCoy, but I'm not 100% on that. I did end up grabbing them as booth items to stick in one of our booths, either at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne or Carlisle Antique Mall here locally. You can see Dagny did find the mask as well. <laughs> I really liked these. I thought they were neat. They were very vintage and I liked the shape of them. They were very heavy though and to ship them would just cost a lot of money and I feel like they would have to be super desirable to be worth shipping. Back here, I spotted this little teapot, which kind of matched Dagny's, only it's a little pumpkin. It is marked on the bottom. I'm not sure if this is for oolong tea. I have come across a few teapots recently that were specifically in the listing title, oolong, and I'm not sure what makes them that. Dagny found this, which was maybe for a drink, but it was the Luxor, which I believe is in Las Vegas. I've only been to Las Vegas once, and that was really enough for me. It was an experience. I thought that maybe this was glass, but when I turned it over, I realized that it was merely plastic. And that little tin cup was just a little too lightweight and chintzy feeling. Those lamps reminded me of tulip lamps. There was a Wedgwood plate here on the shelf. They had $4.99 on it. I did look it over. It had a lot of scuffing on it. It was Wedgwood, but for $4.99, I had to leave it behind. But then I found this, and I loved the birds on it. It was $3.99. You can see there is a mark there, but it's kind of obscure. It's not one that I immediately would say, I know who that is. But I really liked the birds on that, and so I decided that it could go in the cart with the giant canisters. This little totem pole piece was interesting that the wings just kind of went back and forth like that, but I didn't see a whole lot of resale value there. This vase was glass and I did pick it up and look at the bottom just to get an idea of how it was made. I didn't feel super confident about that one, so I left it. And this Westmoreland dish unfortunately did have a chip there on the tail. I picked this up to show all of you that it is in fact a little shortbread mold. A lot of you had spotted it on the shelves in one of my recent videos and thought that maybe it was the lid to the inkwell that I found last week, and unfortunately it was not. This plate was absolutely beautiful. It was $3.99. I loved how vibrant the gold was on this. I try to avoid single plates, but occasionally I will come across a single plate that is just beautiful and that is one of them so I did put that in my cart this little swan was also nice it was 99 cents I liked the green I found that interesting I don't know if someone added that after the fact that they're like oh this swan needs some green on it but I liked it I thought it was a nice touch and for only 99 cents I liked the sheep painted on the tile here and how it was mounted in the frame, but the frame was in pretty rough shape and so I left that there. There were a few pieces here that were worth looking at. This was marked on the inside for Toll. And then this was Satsuma. These little tiles I pick up a lot of the times when I find them attractive. Um, a lot of people use them as coasters and actually put little just soft pads on the feet and stick them on a coffee table. And I thought that these were really nice with the blue and the yellow. So I picked them up for $1.99. This little guy on a leaf here was 
company I did not recognize. The price on it was $6.99, and you can tell I was pretty impressed with that price. I thought that maybe it was worth $25, $30, in which case I might consider paying $6.99 for it because I can still make a profit. Ultimately, I did decide that I would stick him in my cart, and right then and there, I would look up comps on it. And you can see here, it sells for about 12 bucks. And so he went back on the shelf. Then I took to the purses and I decided to look through some of the purses and this one was Simply Noel. Um, I have found some very fantastic purses here at this Goodwill and so I do like to browse through them. I am not an expert on purses by any means. I am still learning. I feel like I have to say that in every video. You can see there are some Vera Bradleys there. I don't usually buy Veras unless they're priced at like two, three dollars because I don't know the patterns well enough. These ones are usually priced upwards of six. Behind this little bell, there was another of these beaded baskets. Now this was $2.99. It looked to be a lid and I struggled a little bit trying to figure out, does this go on top? No, it is not a lid. It is not a lid to my little basket. It is a separate basket. This little head carving here as well was interesting for $3.99. There were a few African carvings throughout this Goodwill, but this one showed age and it showed wear. And so I decided that that was the one that I needed in my cart. I wasn't sure about that shell. It looked like it wanted to be 3D printed, but it was maybe just a severed shell. I think that was a Coca Pelli. I'm learning things. You guys taught me that. These lamps were interesting. I don't usually buy Southwestern themed items. I don't know why, I just don't. But these lamps I did pick up and turn over and kind of look at. And when I was turning them over, I noticed that there was something special about them. They were actually signed and dated. At first I thought maybe they were like 1980s, but they were dated 1960 and they were signed PS. And so because of that marking right there, that was the deciding factor for me because I know basically nothing about southwestern pieces um, but I liked the date I felt like they were mid-century and there could be something there and I found a goose unfortunately there was a lot of damage to this goose it was $3.99 you can see his feet are on the correct way we bought a goose recently at auction and a lot of you had to comment that his feet were on backwards it's okay he was in mid-flight I wasn't sure if this dog was drawn or if it was a print of some sort. Ultimately, I decided that it was a print, but looking at the edited footage, I'm not really sure if I was correct in that assumption. Dagny found this on the top shelf, and it appears to be a doll wardrobe. Uh, now, I did mention earlier in the video that I had purchased multiple American Girl dolls for Juliet recently, and she absolutely loves playing with them, so I decided that I was going to buy this for $14.99 so that she could store her dolls and the clothing and the shoes and everything that came with them. And uh, I thought it was a really nice wooden piece, and it does have some age. It looks to be vintage. Now Dagny did find a few more things while she was searching the store. She found this onion holder canister thing and it was marked on the bottom. It was marked polka, which is fun. I think that's short for polka dots, but it is for onions and I thought that that was pretty neat. She also got this for her daughter Jenny because Jenny likes popcorn just as much as Juliet likes popcorn and it's just the perfect popcorn bowl. I thought at first that that might be a vintage bowl. It was not. Dagny did find this little figurine of this mother with the baby. And unfortunately, there was no price on it. We decided to give it a shot, but they would not sell it to her because the lack of price tag. Then I found this. 
And this was really exciting because this is like so 1990s and I had to try it on. And if you watch on Instagram, there was definitely a dancing montage that involved more than just wiggling around. Of course, then I put it back because I really don't need it. It's very loud. There were some more purses on the other end of the store. There seems to be two separate areas for purses. And I did look through these purses as well. You can see lots of Vera Bradleys. They are priced at a price point where there's not a whole lot of money to be made on them unless they are a special pattern. And as I said before, I don't know them well enough to know which patterns sell better than others. So I just steer clear. You see, I liked the lining of that purse. That's why I was really intent on seeing who made that one. That one had some wear issues. And then we decided to look through the clothes because we have had good luck in the clothes before. I liked this dress and I liked the colors of it. It's not a brand that I recognize. And so Dagny did decide that she would look it up for me because she's very quick on the draw when it comes to looking up comps. It takes me a little bit longer, but she had her phone out and ready in like two seconds. And we toggled it over to sold. And unfortunately, the sold comps did not reflect very highly. So I ended up putting it back. Okay, well, my total spend there was $67. <laughs> Your total spend was? $22. $22. Um, they would not sell her the figurine. They told her, I'm sorry, no figurine for you. <laughs> you cannot afford this figurine. That's what they told her. No, they told her <laughs> they, they it didn't have a price. Yeah, so they, you, cannot, you cannot buy it. Um, but we're all done now. We are going to exit the Goodwill and head on our way. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye.